Okay, okay Citizens Eye here today, and I've got with me Councillor, Councillor Manjula Sood, one of the assistant mayors for Leicester. Councillor Sood, can you tell us a bit more about your role as an assistant mayor? I said I'm very honoured. I've been given the role about health and community involvement. So this is very, very important role for the city because health is something, it's a new uh, thing which is the local authority is going to be the responsibility for delivering public health and community involvement. And Leicester is national, international known for our community cohesion and this is a showcase to show the world that how to, uh, different communities, they live cohesively in the city and they are uh, working towards better understanding and respect and today I am at the Afro-Caribbean Centre, the relaunch of it. So this is a community which has settled in Leicester from centuries but now over the years it has grown and to have their own community. So they had it one but it needed refurbished so that they have a better lift for accessibility and more community groups coming here. And Afro-Caribbean community has made great contribution, especially cultural to the city and national health. I mean, best of the, which is the world, know that health professionals come from the Afro-Caribbean community as well. And the women have made contribution. And we've got a women who's leading the racial equality, Iris. Yeah. And uh, as a former primary school teacher, my own first home was around the corner from here on Sparkono Street. Yeah. And I've taught in the local schools here. And I've taught many of the children. And I'm very honored to say one of the girls, she's a famous musician with them, Wendy. Yeah. And when she was six, and so this community is very willing, but their needs are not still met. Yeah. And their elderly people who have worked here, we need to provide better services and women involvement. But now we have got two councillors from this community, one male and one female, and Alderman Vincent Nurse. When he was a councillor, we used to have an Afro-Caribbean forum where I was a part of it. We have very closely. So, this so, so we're obviously here today at the relaunch of the relaunch African Caribbean and to Center. celebrate with their yeah, there's celebrations. It's a fantastic cake fantastic. and there's lots of people here. And uh, to see that political commitment is there, we are listening to people. Yeah. It's a new structure and the city mayor, as I said, he's very keen to listen and work towards it. I know we are facing a very difficult time financially and so far as those are concerned. Yeah. But that does mean our work starts because we have got each other in our communities. Yeah. And last night I was at one of the youth projects. They had funding through community cohesion, 20 projects. And it was so moving to see how much difference those small projects have made. Yeah. I mean, there were the, it, one project, there were two Afro-Caribbean boys, and they, it was rap and on peace. That was really fantastic to see. So this is why I said everybody can contribute and make a difference to our city. Yeah. So, as part of your role, Manjula, do you think that it's important to reach those people who might not think they, they're getting their full sort of like access to services? Yes, definitely. I and mean, I'm very passionate about it. Even the Leicester survey, I've told the officers, the major communities, yes, they have had their share. There are hard to reach communities who are new to the city, who are settling, because they don't know how to access to the services. So we have to outreach to them and make sure nobody is missed on that. And I think my work on, with Leicester Council of Face as a chair, that will help to shape that model as well. You know? Because Leicester uh, is a big melting pot now. Yeah. There are many communities which are not taken into account. I don't go into the quantity, it is the quality of people. You know? So this is why I'm going to work very hard with the officers to outreach. Can I just ask you as well, Manjula, what do you think are the priorities for your the health aspect of your role? You know, health aspect, as I said, it's, no, it's a great fact that Leicester faces the highest health, health inequalities anywhere in the country. Even day for yesterday it was on the news, Leicester is the third city, highest with CVD, 
cardiovascular disease, smoking, and health and well-being. Because we are responsible for public health. So I will be working on the tackling health inequalities and different areas, you know, like CVD is among Asian community, afro caribbean community, they got sickle cell anemia, which is a, there's a lot of work to be, need to be done on that. I know some are genetic conditions, but how we can improve their well-being. And the women's health being youth, HIV, AIDS, you can name anything, you know. So we will be trying to work on different. So we have to prioritize now. Now we got a, we have got established head, Shadow Health and Wellbeing Board, which will see the transition of the services from the city coming to the city council and the city mayor, he will be chairing that. And I'm a part of that. So there is a mammoth task to do that. And GP commissioning and uh, NHS commissioning, you know. In GP commissioning, I want to make sure that some of the services are not lost, which are community-led. I mean, every community, like if we go to the, some of the outer states, teenage pregnancy is another issue, the well-being of mothers, young mothers, children. So each pocket of the community has got there. And this is why we are having meet the mayor of Yants. I mean, day for yesterday, I went to visit a woman who's got Emmy. And she said there are 250,000 people. Still, we haven't got any provision. Many doctors don't recognize. So I made a personal home visit to her. She was very impressed. So I know some people can't come out, and I will visit them and listen to them how we can make a difference. Great. It's a big job, Manjula. Good luck with it going forward. Okay, and thanks I'm ready. for the interview today. I'm ready for this challenge. <laughs>